start dialing because astrologer Jojo joins us today on Montreal AM Live. Good morning, I'm Leslie Roberts and welcome to Montreal AM Live. As I said, we are pleased to welcome back to Montreal AM Live, Jojo. Good morning, Jojo. Mwah! Merry Christmas, same Happy to, New Year. Same to you, all the best for 93. Yes, to everybody out there. Remember, at CFCF, we love you. <laughs> if you have any questions, I have to give you the number, of course. 1-800-363-9995 is the number to call. Just before we get to the callers, I want to ask, as we look forward to 1993, who are going to be the luckiest? The best sign of all, Libra, because Jupiter, planet of good fortune, is in Libra since the 11th of October. Of course, the other best signs, Aries, as far as especially career and power and expansion. There's Taurus, material-wise, uh, maybe to double the revenue. Gemini, it's like wow, mm. compared to the last couple of years, it's fantastic. And Scorpio, a rebirth for Scorpios, and I think they're very happy for the Scorpio people who are listening to us, because for most Scorpios, it was sort of weird. Maybe 20% of Scorpios were okay, but I would say 80% went through a lot of changes so altogether it's still everybody has a piece of the cake and today hopefully we'll be able to go maybe to all the signs and give everybody a more personal approach to where the Jupiter is where the Saturn is and uh, well I'll give all my love like usual and hopefully it can make a difference in your life. Mm -hmm. Terrific. 1-800-363-9995 <laughs> is the number to call, as we will cover all the signs across the astrological spectrum. Good morning, Lena in Montreal. You're on with Jojo. Hi, uh, I'm a Cancer. Uh -huh. Welcome. Two more Cancers. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, my birthday is July 9th, 1969. Okay. And what do you want to know specifically, Lena? Um, area of love, maybe. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's going to be a good year, uh, I've already been told. Well, you know what? It's, all the water signs, it's all good anyway. Especially in your case, I think you've been affirming yourself quite a bit. You've changed so much in the last two years that even people around you almost not recognize you. Is it true? Yeah, that's very true. You, continue, you, you will continue to do so. In love, and you know what? That you are a rooster in Chinese horoscope? Yeah, I knew that. Aha! Uh -huh. You know what the 1993 is? It's rooster year. So you're in vibration one. So you know what you have to do right now? Finish the year with peace. Try to plan maybe for the future. Think big. Be very daring and, and, and have a dream that's like worthy of you because you're a person that could give a lot. And when you're in love, it's not halfway. It's like 150%. Wouldn't you say so? Yeah. <laughs> 1993, I truly believe you will fulfill maybe a last six, seven, a lot of dreams you've been thinking about. And especially the last two years, what you, all the efforts you've been putting in after the month of March, I think slowly but surely it will crawl into your life and you can have fantastic, incredible, blissful moments and loves. And I wish it to you, okay? okay. But think big. Is there somebody in the picture now, Lena? No. No, okay. Not right away, but she's, a, she's, she's in vibration one, so she's in 12 now. She, this is why she's been more affirming and trying to find out what she really wants. And but if she it. thinks big, whew, you got it. All right, let's talk final about episode of Montreal AM Live for our season. Show number 178, and we close the season with your favorite, Jojo. Good morning, Jojo, and welcome back. <laughs> I'm so honored. I think everybody out there, you know what? Thanks for being my friend, and from the bottom of my heart, I love you for real, okay? And I'll be here as much as I can. It's very touching that you have... You, you invited me for the last show for the whole hour. I, I, mean, I mean, it's beautiful. Well, thank you're, you. You're one of our favorites, and I'm glad you could come thank back. You, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Mm -hmm. And jo I am. <laughs> and Jojo is here for the next full hour of the program, yes, and she will yes, be yes. taking your calls. The number to call, of course, is 1-800-363-9995. We ask that you have one specific question in an area, because I know that a lot of people want to talk to Jojo. If you don't get in, we will uh, tr cover all the astrological signs, as we always do, and give you a general outlook for the summer. Now, without further ado, there are people standing by already. We're going to go straight to the caller, Jojo, okay? Okay. Good morning, Ida in St. Lambert. You're on AM Live. Yes, good morning. Good morning. Good morning, uh, Leslie and Jojo. Morning. <laughs> <laughs> Reciprocated. Um, we need your birthday to start with, Ida. August the 12th, 1921. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was wondering what my chances are of selling our house. Okay, that's very important. Is it in Quebec? <laughs> yes, it's in Quebec. Okay. okay. <laughs> exactly. You have such a, you, you know what, you're an ageless person, the kind of voice you have. I'm you not. must look good. <laughs> Don't you? Well, not too bad. I think you look good. She doesn't want to tell us, right? <laughs> you're a rooster in Chinese horoscope. Did you know this? 
Yes. Okay, and that means, and you're a very, very proud person because you are so Leo that gives you, uh, you're a natural leader, but what I like about your vibration when I look at the calculation, such a good hearted and such a good leader would never uh, misuse your power, never misuse your talent, but people will follow you wherever you are in some way. Let me just see here, You, if it's the house, let me just calculate a few things here. I'm just going to look. Did you have, oh, you wanted to find out about selling your house. Has it yeah, been on the yeah, market yeah. for a long time, Ida? No, not that long. Okay. okay. Just like it, you put it in the market at the beginning of 1993, though. That's right. Okay. You know it's the rooster year, 1993, so it's not possible that you won't go cuckoo coo before the, yen, <laughs> the, the, the year is over. So that means you're in the beginning, in vibration one, and as of your birthday, as far as I'm concerned, the chance of you selling your house after the 12th of the eighth month, suddenly things will occur very, very rapidly. So I wouldn't be surprised if you just put it on the market normally that you do have the possibility to sell it even before the year is over. The worst that could happen because it, you will move in two, in vibration two, in 1994, it should be around springtime, but it will not last two or three or four years. And I have a little surprise for you. You probably have a good chance because you're in vibration six to even get the price pretty close of what you want. Mm -hmm. Is it a beautiful house? Oh, I think it's nice enough. Yeah, well, if it's beautiful the way I think, you're going to get the value of it. So as far as I'm concerned, Ita, you have the blessings of the stars. This house will be sold. Probably, anyways, the energy in your case, right away after your birthday, this is where you're hitting vibration one. Now you're in vibration 12. You may have to still feel a little, little insecure. These things will, won't happen right away, 100%, but as for your birthday, you could count it. You could cross your fingers. It's in the bank of the customers, okay? Oh, that would be great. Thank you, Kita, and have Thank, a good day. Thanks Thank for your call. Okay, hello. Okay, Hi. sweetheart, do you hear Good morning us? to you both. I'm sorry. No it's problem. Okay. February 22, 19... 27, general, finance, love, future. Everything, okay. That's a second. You know that you're born 22nd? Magic number. It means that you are protected by angels no matter what. You, in, in your case, you had a tough life. You went through all kind of emotional, incredible things since you were quite young. Is it true? Very, very Okay. True. But it's okay. You never give up. You keep your dreams. You're strong. You're powerful. You're invincible. And you know, you know that you're extraordinary? Well, I don't know. I'm yes, you are. <laughs> and I would like you to, that you could remind yourself that because sometimes you put other people up very much. You don't put yourself up enough as far as I'm concerned. This year, you should look in the morning, every morning, and say to yourself, I'm extraordinary and I'm great. Because if you did all the things you've done, I'm telling you, you got to be great. Don't you agree? Well, I'll okay. agree with you. <laughs> okay. Being on the 1st and 22nd, that's 4 and 1. Let me just calculate another 9 and 1. She's still pretty much a leader and strong. That's why she... she mm -hmm. Life gave her a lot of challenges, but she never gave up. Sentimental-wise, especially, okay, uh, until I would say another two, three weeks, take your time. Uh, you're going to reevaluate a lot of things. There's a lot of questions in your mind about that. Everything with the heart, with emotions, with sensitivity. Does that make sense? Yes, ma'am. Okay, you just keep on another two, three weeks. You will have answers about that. Just take your time, love yourself, don't do any concessions in love in 1992, and you will have some moments that you will never forget. You are entering and approaching a time in your love life and your personal life that's like something you haven't seen or not even experienced maybe for the last 12 years of your life, and it's happening in 1992. Financially, maybe it solves some problems or sell some things from the past. I don't know, there's some very good luck also after mid-December for you. That's fantastic. But you have to help yourself a little bit more and protect what belongs to you. Because some people may tend to come and try to grab a few things. You will be very financially lucky. Don't lend money and just try to spoil yourself and just invest in your own happiness because it's your time. Okay? Good morning. I'm Leslie Roberts. Welcome to Montreal AM Live. Well, she is back. Need I say more? Of course, I'm talking about Jocelyn, who, by the way, as you may not know, has been voted one of Montreal's top three <laughs> television personalities by the readers of the Mirror newspaper. Congratulations. I'm, I'm so happy. I think yeah. everybody out there... I give you nice kisses on your nose, on your forehead, and everywhere. Thank you for loving me, and I love you back like you wouldn't believe, like this. And if you would like to call in, 1-800-363-9995. We are going to try and cover the entire spectrum, zodiac, zodiac spectrum. That's I can say right. it's a hard thing to say. Yeah. <laughs> and talk about the summer for the various signs. So stay tuned and call in. Now, first of all, I talked about the solar eclipse and the lunar eclipse. Both of those are going to happen next month. We should be 
concern somewhat. Uh, in some cases, it will help people maybe to clean up more with their past and, and uh, help them also to close the door in relationship with some very hard moments that some people went through. Well, I, uh, I am from the United States. I married a Canadian. Since then, I am here. I lost my job. I left my job in New York. Uh -huh. And since then, I cannot get a job here. I'd will, like to know if I'm going to get a job. Will the employment yeah. picture improve? Okay. You are 1959? Right. Okay. That means she is... Uh, just a second. All right. And she's born 12 and 12. It's like you, in a way, you're lucky, but you still had to fight your way through a lot, eh? Since you were little. Right, right. Okay, because being 12 and 12, it means uh, you're protected by angels in some way, but you always have to struggle so much to get what you want. You know what? For another, I would say, a month and a half, you have to still continue, but you will not get the response that you want right away, okay? okay. But I would say after, definitely in mid-July and August, you should, start get, you should start getting a response. Just don't give up. Very important for you, because you, you're very sensitive. You have your highs and your lows. It's extreme. Is it true? Right. Okay, now try to stabilize and keep it like in the middle. And the whole key is just be as positive as you can. And don't allow no negative, negative thoughts. Don't allow no insecurity within yourself. Just believe 100% and plant the seeds of your future. And mid-July and August, you will get, you'll get a new job and it will be even better Here, for you somehow. my mom, why do I have a mom and why do I have a dad? Hmm. What is everything too? I don't know. That's the way it is. But tell me, why is it day and night? Oh, but that's the way it is. But get a reason. Why do we live here? I don't know. So imagine I became very, very, very... I wanted to know what is the reason of my existence? Where do I come from? Where do I go? What's going on beyond that world of stars? What do those stars mean? Hmm. So it's, it was like born. You know when you know you are born an astrologer, you are born a person that's going to probably work all her life to try to find some answers. And maybe, and since I had so much energy, I could handle more things in one day. I was the kind of kid, I did everything. I took courses in the... In the natural sciences, I took courses in the astronomy. I, t I, I was even chosen for a, 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 my first special uh, astronomy course was in the Sherbrooke City. I was mm -hmm. there was a contest there for natural sciences. Mm -hmm. 14 years old, so I ended up being chosen to be sent there. Everything paid all summer for my first astronomy class. Because imagine with mm. adults. Finally, my dream was uh, succeeded. So it's been going on like this until finally that I, I studied. I did a BA at Sir George William because my parents wanted to be more concrete, more practical. Please, you'll be like your sister, be a lawyer or be somebody <laughs> that's more with society. So I did a BA in the fine arts because I do a little painting too. And I was mm. very much interested in the... A little in painting, the, I hear you're quite the <laughs> artist, actually. That's a little understated. Yeah, I'm not bad. I'm yeah. not bad. And it's, it's my way to rest, rest my spirit. So after that, what I decided, I went to Europe for a year and a half and I took different courses in, in the graphology, courses in numerology, a lot of courses in astrology, but classic astrology. Then after that, I met somebody on the way to California, making it real short, mm -hmm. and I went to India. Could you believe that? Seven months, and I came back, and I went another seven months, and I went back three months, and I did what you call a master's in palmistry in, his, in, uh, in astrology. Mm. And it's like you study astrology, not in a classic way, but rather with the moon movement. And since they, they are the oldest a uh, country in the world that has the most incredible uh, knowledge about all these things. It's like unbelievable. And they gave me some answers about the existence. And with all that training and ability, you're now helping others to, to predict the yes. future and putting that ability to good use. So yeah. we have a lot of people studying yeah. right here. <laughs> okay. so, so. so that's it. Yeah, I want to do that because I find if all the answers that I found, uh -huh. why should I not? Because so people, many people have those questions. Uh -huh. What do you think? Of course, I am not God. I don't know everything. I have, I have a great belief in God and myself because that's where I, this, this is where I get my strength. Except that I think that we all have the purpose in life to at least share what we think is right for us. And maybe some of the answers that I found, I could share with my people. Do you feel it? Okay. I feel somebody wrote something bad in the newspaper against me, let's yes. say. It's very, it hurts. You work yeah. like, they don't know the whole story. They didn't even talk to you. And they, they dare make a tax on you, let's say. Or somebody dropped you that you were with 20 years. Office gossip, for example. Anything, okay. exactly. So what you do is every night before you go to sleep, you just create all the things that are hurtful and painful and the emotions that are really negative mm. and it's normal because in order for you to find the good and the positive you got to feel that negative don't deny it okay. we're not sinners that. you know since that's the fertilizers to allow the the flower of your spirit to grow so don't think you're a sinner 
religion you say that, I'm telling you, they are the sinners. I'm sorry. You're terrific. You're beautiful. You're unique. You are here to learn. And you got to play pottery sometimes with negative stuff. So what you do, you think, okay, this is what I feel. Let it go right through your, your body and then reconnect saying, although I feel anger, I am sending love and energy and forgiveness to people like that. Okay. And don't be afraid to plant some seeds in the universe saying, hey, listen, I'm the child of the universe. I'm a creator. I have God within me. I am here to accomplish the work of God. So therefore, please, you know, this is what I want. You deserve it. And if you think abundance, if you think richness, you are allowed. Why is it only stars could do things? Why is it that only our Jews could do things? You could do anything you want and there's no age in the world to stop you from accomplishing whatever dream you have. That's the key. Positivity, forgiveness, compassion, non-judgment. And if people hurt you, they don't know better. That means they're frustrated. You send them good vibes and kisses. And that's why I say everybody, I love you and I kiss you all the time. Thank you, Jojo. And I know we have to <laughs> say goodbye. It? Yes, oh, all the best God. for 95. Thank you very much. I love you all. And, and we'll see you in the new, new year. year. It will be a beginning of peace in 95. Perfect. Thank and you. God bless you. You're wonderful. Thank you very much. Send him good too. vibes because he's a lover. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> On that note.